very fresh. Tuesday, the 19th day of November, 2019. And I just don't know where to begin, you guys. It's just so many things going on. It is quite chaotic, <laughs> to say the very least. I mean, so much so. I mean, look at what we're seeing around the world. I mean, this is insane, and it's all to do with money. Civil unrest is now the new normal. Okay, all of these incidents going on just in the last couple days. But the real grievance is the sense that unresponsive elite are sucking up all the available wealth. See what I mean? Leaving the vast majority with zero upward mobility. This is the plan. They're building up right now to the reset. And I showed you the other day how Trump was m meeting with the Economic Club of New York, a.k.a. the Rothschild Banking Cabal, and how the market didn't move one single fraction of a point on that day. That just doesn't happen. This is the Synagogue of Satan at work playing their Babylonian money magic, which is essentially Enochian magic which I'll try and get into a little bit more, but this is all a deception. It, it, they're changing your perception of the world and of the financial systems, the whole thing. It's a giant lie. Trump has been lying from day one when he himself spoke out against lowering interest rates and so forth, explaining how it would destroy the middle class, and now he's out there literally meeting with the Fed chair yesterday to discuss lowering the rates so he could compete. You understand? This is systematically taking the wealth out of the majority so that you have no wherewithal to fight back. That's what it is, to put you into complete subjection. And they're doing it through their magic, which is essentially just lies. Because that's what they do. They do what their father does. Lie. And so he had this meeting with the economic club. And then he met with another club. Another super donor club. The very same day. The Orthodox Jewish community of New York. Chabad Jews. This is the magic spiritual arm of this New World Order plan. And this is the financial arm of the New World Order plan. The Jews, in their Kabbalah magic, they are practicing Enochian magic. This is the same magic that Aleister Crowley revised about a hundred years ago, and it's just up through the centuries, has been revised and more revealed to them in order to dupe the world, because they are the lovers of money. You understand? And at that same Chabad Jew meeting where they were there to honor him that's what it was all about was honoring trump i mean get a load of this he hinted at becoming king of israel while he was there in fact he said if something goes wrong here his exact words meaning the usa he'll go to israel and become prime minister or king if you will and these are the kind of things that they jokingly put out there in front of us okay so he attended this Chabad tribute so that they could lift him up on a pedestal like a king, and he gets an actual blessing of a king. I just shared with the president, we have a tradition for millennia, that when we, the Jewish people, encounter a leader of such magnitude, we make a special blessing to the creator of the world. This is what they're doing, folks. 400 Jews showed up, and each one ponied up, a hundred thousand dollars each that's 40 million dollars you guys in one hour and they are the same this right here is the same as this right here they are one in the same they're the spiritual and the physical arm of this new world order machine this beast that's rising that's what it is and it's sad man and kanye's involved in this all the devil wants to do is have you die in your sin, and he will lead you down that broad, wide path right into the pit of hell. That's the plan. 
Look at Kissinger's been out making the rounds with everybody lately. He's met with Trump three times since he's been president. He just hooked up with the president of China, right? Kissinger is nothing more than a Rothschild stand-in. He is a high priest, warlock, magician, murderer. He was behind the whole rise of China and the petrodollar, which are about to collapse. You just got to take this stuff into consideration, you guys. And the last time he met with Trump was on the 8th of February last year, which just happens to be one year, nine months, and 11 days today. All right? And on Friday, I noticed that the Dow closed up 222.93 points. Now, we could go all kinds of directions with this, but if you just round that off, it comes to 223 which is the 322 two, two backwards, the skull and bones, but it does not just involve the skull and bones. This is the whole kit and caboodle, all of them. All these secret clubs, the Rothschilds, Illuminati, all of them are under the same umbrella, the synagogue of Satan. You understand? And this plan is on. It is basically rolling out right before our eyes. And there are a ton of things connected to this you guys so after he meets with the with the uh, economy club and the Chabad Jews and they hand him over 40 million dollars yesterday he meets with the Fed chair and the Treasury secretary in an unscheduled meeting and the Dow happens to close yesterday to the good 31.33 now it's important to make note that on Friday the same time that the Dow closed 222 to the good. Over in Asia, the Hang Seng closed 322 to the good, as well as the Nikkei 113. These patterns are everywhere, you guys, everywhere. I'm just telling you, this is what's going on. I don't know how else to put it. They're setting up the beast money system. That's what they're doing. They're creating all of this turmoil. All the people are in an uproar because their financial futures are being sucked out of them. They have no hope. They don't know Jesus. They don't understand prophecy. They don't fully comprehend that this is supposed to happen. They are under the spell. Their perception has been altered through lies, manipulation, and money magic. These are very diabolical people, and they don't care who they have to destroy. As long as you die in your sin without Christ, that's all they care about. When I woke up Saturday morning, 11.16, kind of like set this in motion. It was exactly 4.44 4, 4 in the morning. It was weird, and my Bible verse was Matthew 18.11, which immediately I thought of 11.18 yesterday, Monday. But then I looked at it in the 8 and 1, the 9, the 11, the 9, 11, the 11, 19, the 11, 16, the day I saw this, turn that upside down, it's 11, 19. So it's like pointing to this day and the spiritual warfare. The 444 is a perfect representation of the spiritual warfare and the deception that's going on. This magic, it's of the highest degree, the patterns. That's all I can really tell you is I see these patterns and I'm led to share them with you because we know this is what's going on. This is what's going on, you guys. There's so much to this. Wall Street stocks suffer worst week in a decade. This was the week before Christmas last year, the 21st of December, which just happens to be 333 days ago as of today when the Dow dropped 313.11. These are the patterns that don't lie. Do they mean anything exactly specific? I can't tell you. I honestly can't. But I can tell you that there is absolutely something going on here. You do not have all of these highest level meetings financially and spiritually all within a few days for no reason. And 96-year-old Kissinger out there waddling around, spreading his black magic. 
This is what's going on. The setup is on, you guys. It's on. And how they do it, is your guess is as good as mine, but I can tell you one thing. Everything we see right now is fake when it pertains to the economy. All a lie. Trump has been lying about it all along. He's part of the club. I hate to tell you, but he's not going to bring in a gold standard, you know, honest money system. It's not going to happen, folks. Whatever they do, it's going to be loaded to the hilt with lies, magic, and propaganda. So you need to be in Christ. That's the key to all of this, is the spirit of the living God. When you indwell that spirit, you cannot be lied to if, in fact, you are truly, sincerely seeking it through Christ Jesus. And that's the only way, folks. The only way. So seek him, like I always say, first, foremost, and always. And peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 